Hi, welcome to WWE Girl Talk. I'm Coral. I'm Ashley. And today we're reviewing the episode of Raw from the 17th of November. I almost said the 18th thing because that was my birthday. Woo! Yeah! Um, so how did it start, Ashley? The authority came out. <laughs> yeah, it, it, every episode the authority comes out now at the beginning. It's getting a bit old. Um, it's boring. Yeah. They spent like half an hour talking shit. But yeah, they did actually. Yeah, they took a long time. <laughs> so basically, they, all they said was they're going to win. They're going to decimate the other team. Blah, blah, blah. Ryback, right Ryback, right Ryback. Right back, yeah. So then Ryback right come out and was like, I'm on team Ryback. Right and they're like, okay, that's fine. So that was, that was, that took about half an hour to yeah. get through. But knowing that, Ryback, right Ryback, right Ryback right is quite hard to say. Yeah. Ryback, right Ryback. Right Tongue twister. Hmm. Who thought it? Uh, so then they set up a match with Luke Harper. Because <laughs> obviously from Raw, the previous Raw, Luke Harper's now on their team. Hmm. Um, <laughs> so it's... They announced the match, Luke Harper vs. Dolph Ziggler. And then when the match was about to start, they announced that it's for the Intercontinental Championship. Cool. I don't understand why they do that, like, episode, like an episode or two before a pay-per-view. I don't, I don't understand why they do that. They well, always do it. They did the tag teams last time, didn't they? I think so. But yeah. they, they've they done the Intercontinental Championship, I think, at least every week. Yeah. Since, what was the last one? Hell on a Cell. Yeah. It's but this time it's actually changed hands. Yeah, it's changed hands. But I think they did it to push, push Dolph because you can't really get pushed if you're yeah. still champion. But anyway, so before the the bell rang, the security went in the ring and attacked Dolph, and Luke Harper joined in, and then Seth came in and hit him in the briefcase. Briefcase. But um, then we had this whole like, his, not his bit, but this whole like kerfuffle of just Dolph trying to stand up yeah it was stupid it's like it wasted so much time you've been kicked a couple of times you've been hitting the like hitting the face like if that was us you'd, you'd be a bit hurt but you wouldn't take t- 10 minutes just to get up off the floor like mm. hanging onto the ropes like you're disabled yeah, it's like, like it was just, just like being hit by a car or something I know it was really bad it was just like get the fuck up <laughs> unlike Dolph it's so unlike Dolph yeah. not only that the match was just awful. it was bad so it, two wrestlers that are good as well it was just Dolph fucking around, basically. He was on the floor trying to fight back. But it's like, Dolph's better than that, so why, yeah. why is this a match? Like, Yeah, I, just, I, just, mm, I can't get my head around it. No, and Luke Harper's not as fun to watch on TV. No, he's, he's so good live, though. Yeah, he's so good live. It's just, um, oh, I just can't figure it out. And Seth Rollins was on commentary the whole entire time, but he didn't really say much. No, I don't... He just faked laughs. Did he laugh. say anything? He faked laughed a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> that was literally on the money. <laughs> but um, so yeah, we Luke made it. Harper. I, c- I still can't remember his name, even though yeah. it's like there now. It's obvious that's his name. <laughs> um, Luke Harper won. I still, I still keep going to call him like Eric Harper. I know. <laughs> uh, Luke won with a clothesline, which really fucked me yeah. off. Why would you win from a clothesline? That's like a basic move using any match, but anyway. Um, and then Seth come in and curb stomp Dolph. Boom. And that is the end of that. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed too. Grumpy cat! Yeah, see how grumpy cat is a guest. Grumpy cat. <laughs> I mean, when I first saw this, I was like, really? We've got a cat as a guest. But then they made it quite good because mm-hmm. they included Miz and Miz Dow in this whole thing. <laughs> I just think it's cute. It is adorable. It's so cute! So... The Miz and Miz Dow backstage talk to the cat. <laughs> I've never noticed before that Miz Dow actually pretends to talk, but just goes... Yeah. He has no idea what's going on. <laughs> so, Miz is trying to talk to the cat and offer him a movie role or something. I don't know. I'm just like, what is the world we're living in? <laughs> and then, obviously, the cat's going to reply to cat. So then they're like, oh, we've got a stunt double grumpy cat. They bring out this toy cat, and the cat is automatically looking at the cat like I might attack it. (laughs) How did they get the cat to just stay there? I don't know. I don't know. But, um, so then he's like, how dare you ignore me, blah, blah, blah. (laughs) They walk off, and Miz comes back, and he's like, I didn't need to lose my call. I'm a great fan, and kisses the cat on the head. He goes, and then runs off. It's the cutest thing ever, the cat's just like. It was adorable. I've never seen Miz, like so like adorable yeah yeah but it was his whole entire face he's like oh my god it's a cat <laughs> <laughs> i want to steal that cat his paws are so cute and his eyes are so big I know. he's like it doesn't look that grumpy just looks tired 
Yeah, it looks more fed up than grumpy. Yeah. Fed up cat. <laughs> fed up cat. <laughs> Doesn't really have the same ring to it, does it? No. <laughs> but yeah, I yeah. I don't I don't see the relevance of WWE with it. No, I don't either, but hey. Uh, yeah. Gets your viewers then, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, 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 oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Third Alan Ryan's first Tyson kid. I like the fact they're pushing them both. Yeah. There's no one. It's a good match actually, but it's not long enough. Yeah, I think I think if it was a long match, it actually would have been a good match. But yeah. I think because it was so short, I couldn't really get into it too much. But um, I wish it was a bunny. It's like the bunny and Natalia overshadowed the whole entire yeah. match. It's just, well, why the fuck are we focusing on people not in the ring? I'm lucky they didn't show Natalia as much as they did. Mm. That dress didn't suit her, by the way. Mm. It's totally wrong for a body type. But mafia um, wife. Yeah, trying to be a mafia wife. She's not one. Um, but oh, what was I say? It's pretty much more the fact that the bu- the bunny's doing things that really actually shouldn't be distracting Adam Rose. Yeah, it needs. To, but I think if he was doing things that would distract Adam Rose, I don't think it would be suitable for PG. Yeah, the thing is, it's just a bit stupid. <laughs> like I'm yeah, annoyed. I mean, all these little matches are going to build up to this feud. It's taking too long. Yeah. But well, I know we're going to have to wait till after Survivor Series. Oh, yeah. It. So, it's a shame. But, and also, what was all this about? Oh, yeah. So, basically, Adam lost the match because the bunny was trying to chat Natalia up on something. I don't understand how that bunny hopping is. And also, why was shouldn't that have been Tyson Kidd that... Get, got annoyed, not yeah. Adam Rose. Is there like a weird thing going on between these two? Because yeah. then the bunny tried to hump Adam Rose. <laughs> maybe they've got a gay sh- thing going yeah, on. Maybe. But so basically Adam tried to ta- attack the bunny again and the bunny like countered and then like humped him. Yeah. And then the bunny went, wandered off and then did like humping gestures. Like three times. And it's like me and Cole were just like, isn't this meant to be PJ? <laughs> There's like kids looking at this bunny. Yeah. They love this bunny and he's humping. Yeah. Like, what are you? Are you PG or you're not? Like, I hope what this are you? is a sign. <laughs> the bunny <laughs> is a sign. <laughs> I hope this is a sign. It's a new era. I hope so. I do. This is getting boring. I know, I need to sort it out. I do. I need to get a better roster. Because mm. <laughs> half of them are injured. <laughs> so true. <laughs> it's like, fair to say, we were saying, if we weren't doing this show and didn't enjoy doing the show, we wouldn't be watching it anymore. Yeah, we would have stopped. We, we would have just been... I think I would have stopped a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Do you know what? I think I would have stopped, like... Well, do you know what? I think I would have zoned out uh, before Night of Champions. And then got back into it. And then stopped about a week ago. See, if it weren't that bad... The last Night weren't that bad. No. That's true. That's all. Right. It's like it's like up and down. One minute it's, it's very quite good. Up and down. It's one minute one episode's really really good, and then it just goes plummets to the floor. You're just like, oh, what, mm. what the fuck? But I was looking at Instagram comments uh, the other day, and people were just saying like, Get, sack your story writers. Oh, they have to. They have to. They're just I terrible. They just I don't know what they're doing and where they're going. It's just mm, makes me sleepy. It's not just Russo that makes me sleepy. It's the whole thing now. Um, Bray Wyatt comes out. Yeah, he popped out just to say hi and go ding 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 ding. ding. <laughs> oh, ding this, ding that, ding this. It's like he's in love with him. Our souls are intertwined. Star cross oh. lovers and all that crap. Mm. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna end up like Romeo and Juliet, aren't they? They are. Oh, really? bless them. Star cross lovers. <laughs> yeah, he literally just spoke in riddles again about shit. And talks about how his mum killed himself in a bath. Um, Dean's mum killed himself in a bath or something. And like his dad's gone to jail. And it's like, right, okay. But this isn't relevant to anything. No. Like, I'm not going to lie. This is okay. I don't really They've care. They've done this completely wrong. They've done it. They've fucked this up majorly. Mm. I'm sorry. But I doubt we're even going to see Bray Wyatt in about a year's time. Yeah. They've really fucked him up. Unless there's some big quick turn that we're not going to see coming. No, it's, got, it's going to be overcome Survivor Series. I know. Well. That's me. If Survivor Series has happened, this whole feud will be gone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you that now. Do you be able to step again? Probably. probably, probably. So then, um, Dean came out. Well, Dean had a little video. Oh thing, yeah, yeah. And then he's like, "Oh yeah, I've pre-recorded it," which probably most segments are anyway. Yeah. 
which we all know, we're not that stupid. Mm-hmm. And um, he then comes out and attacks D, uh, Bray, even. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't attack himself. <laughs> he attacks Bray Wyatt, but he was saying he doesn't need to save him, basically. Yeah. And it's so true. What is the point of this whole thing? Yeah. Dean isn't, like, that troubled. I don't understand how he's troubled. No. It's just a bit creepy. But there isn't a reason... Like, I know we haven't really think, heard much about Dean, if that makes sense. Mm. But I don't need to know. No, he's mm. just a lunatic fringe. You don't need to know why. I don't why. Lunatic fringe, really. no, it's why. I think it's just his hair. I yeah. really do think it's because his hair. He's got more of a fringe going on now as well. I know. I deep condition today, didn't he? Deep condition. <laughs> See, that was that, and so after the Survivor Series, we're never going to hear from Bray Wyatt ever again, no. hopefully. He's going to turn up and be like, I'm a slip. The thing is, I just, they could have done so much with this, yeah. and they've just done nothing with it. They've just, I Dean should have been in the Team Team the match. It should have been Team yeah. Dean versus Team yeah. Team. That's what should have happened. It should not have been. Oh, that would have worked. That would have worked so good. Like, what the fuck is going on? <sighs> and if you're going to put Team C, if you're going to put John Cena for the World Heavyweight Championship like he's meant to be, he should have done something with Bray Wyatt, I think. That would have worked a bit better, mm. I think, rather than taking Tina. Mm. <laughs> Hello, Cesaro. Cesaro vs. Ryback. Yeah. Um, Ryback shorts just annoyed me. <laughs> he has wearing shorts, I think, because uh, Leotard, he doesn't do that. Did you do that last week? I feel like he was wearing his like, red marble one. Yeah, I think he was wearing his red one. I don't know. I don't know. No, he wasn't. He was wearing the black one. Was he? Maybe he just got a bit cold. Yeah. We were try- That's what we were trying to scut- figure out. Yeah. Like, the whole why is he wearing those? Is yeah. it because he's cold? Did he rush? <laughs> Did he forget to take them off? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Did he do some weights before? <laughs> that's how much interest we had in this match. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's better than most Ryback matches, but yeah. It's Ryback. Ryback balls me. Yeah. See? Cesaro I like. I like to watch Cesaro. Mm. You're not a fan sometimes. of Sometimes. Sometimes. It depends who he's wrestling. He just hasn't got a direction. That annoys me. Yeah, I think I think it's more the fact that he's got no personality. He's I think if he one. had a personality, he'd be more likeable. Yeah, I agree. But, and now we've got a... Did we say who won? No, but by back one, which is really, really predictable. Obviously. Yeah. I don't get why they're pushing it. They're pushing him as if he's going to become a big superstar one day, and he's not. He's not. He'll be gone. So. Yeah. He always um, gets injured as well. Yeah, he gets put out and then he's put back in and he just he comes and goes too often to be a legend. Um, but now we've got to endure some uh, oh, but yeah. Help me. <laughs> Rusev was there. <laughs> he, he came, was. He came out. Alana? Alana spoke. As she does about Vladimir Putin. She's got like a weird crush on him, I swear. Yeah, I, the, the, um, every week. <laughs> Same old bollocks. Oh. Should have list off to run out talking about him. Can Rusev not come out and talk? Yeah. He's, Ameri- he's like fluent in English now. Yeah. So. He doesn't need Lana. No. Um, and then he later come out dressed as an American. <laughs> <laughs> I love he's, he later makes me laugh. I love him. Oh, like, he's good. Grumpy Cat was back. He was. And yeah. so was Mr. Mistral. Yeah, and they talk about a buddy sequel. Okay. Yeah, a sequel, movie sequel, and... <laughs> the cat was just falling asleep. I oh, know. <laughs> Who's that is? The cat's had enough. <laughs> that was a good impression. Well done. <laughs> I can't get an impression, did I? You are. <gasps> uh, and then Luke... No, not Luke. <laughs> Eric. Eric, Eric Roman. <laughs> Term oil. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> Eric. Rowan. <laughs> Eric Rowan. Eric Rowan turned up. He did. And uh, he wanted the cat. I want the cat. But he actually only wanted the stuffed cat. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about this weirdness. I like him, but I also feel like they only brought Grumpy Cat for that moment. Yeah, I know what you mean. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know where they go with it, unless it's gonna turn into a feud or something. I like it for the moment. I like but it, it could get boring quite quickly. Yeah. Um but I don't know what's gonna happen. It was quite funny. Yeah. And Miss Dale was like, that's my cat. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch. Yeah. They're probably quite expensive, you know. Probably, especially if it's on TV. His mask, though, and he's updating. It's so, like, fucked. <laughs> Get better ones at the merch stand. I know, right? They sold loads of them at the merch stand. What? Uh, mask. Oh, is there? Yeah. You don't see it? It's no. like 15 quid, as well. Really? Yeah. That's cheap shit. Yeah, fuck that. Um, so then, uh, <laughs> this is what she does when Rusev comes on. Um, 
Are you going to come back to the to the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um I think should I come out? Yeah. So did Stephanie. Um that was really well, weird. That was long. That's really weird. Weird. Well Big Show come out and then Stephanie come out straight after. Big Show never said anything. But no. Stephanie just come out. This is a planned meeting. It I'm was. gonna meet you on the stage. And so Stephanie come out and was like, Oh, if you don't be part of Team Cena, you can be in the Hall of Fame whilst being a wrestler, the first one ever. So no one done that. No. Oh we know John Cena's gonna be Oh. Oh really? And anyway. he'll get it next year, won't he? Oh fuck it, probably. And then uh, big shows at night. And Shane's come out. I can't remember what he said though. He was proud to be in the in Team C no. Oh yeah, that's it. And uh, yeah, and then um Stephanie was like Your visa is expiring. Oh yeah. And it might not be renewed. How convenient it's the uh, survivor series. Yeah. And uh she then put Big Show and Shane's in a match against Jarrah and it was for the number one contender spot for WWE Championship. Not I've got uh, a massive issue with this. Don't say you already have it. Yeah, so what the fuck are you playing at? Okay? Like, I literally lost my shit when I saw this. The whole oh. reason John Cena and Randy Orton had the match. Oh, uh, her herself. So I was like, majorly pissed off. When Coral first arrived at my house, I'd already seen this, and I literally yeah. went, oh my god, you won't believe this bullshit. <laughs> <So> I, <laughs> I believe this. I was really angry. <laughs> um, so then the match happened. But then Rusev and Mark Henry intervened. Yeah. The match wasn't that good anyway. Rusev played up, you see. Yeah. <laughs> and they, my eyes are really heavy. they beat each other up. Mm. And now Seamus is injured. He got put through a table by Mark Henry. And he put his top over him. That's what I do. <laughs> so funny how he does that. <gasps> and then the, the top disappeared though at the end. I know. But Big Show, I swear. Oh my God. No, I actually oh, threw up. So it was good. dripping down his face onto Rusev's hand. And his hands like this. And, like, and then you can see on the map there was a white, there was a mark. It was fucking disgusting. Oh. It was like Carl was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sick in a minute. <laughs> I, I have a very strong stomach. I will watch anything, but ooh. <laughs> Imagine the smell, bro. Oh, that's what I'm worried about. Oh. 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 And that was that bullshit segment that took like so long. To cover a lot oh, of my time. Yeah. I think it's more finished. Yet. No. <laughs> I 